guys, welcome back to another upgrade video here on RC Fun Games. I'm Ryan and today we're going to be fitting the 59mm shocks to the Traxxas TRX 4M Defender. There's a few things I'm not happy about. So the flex blade, since I've put them on, the torque twist and body lean has become unbearable. So I've even fitted the stronger springs, I've got the adjustment on maximum and even so it just doesn't prevent it forward and backwards. So I'm going to try the 59mm shocks guys and see how that works. If I can't stop the body roll and torque twist, I am going to try to fit two springs. So let's play around a bit, let's get these flex blades off and let's fit the 59mm shocks. I'm not going to, I don't think I'm even going to bother fitting the 59mm shocks in the front because it just gives too much droop, but the back, I don't mind giving it a try. So let's get them out, let's give them a test. Okay guys, so yeah, they are. Let's get them open and let's check what they look like. Okay, this is the only part so far from Injura that actually gives you an instruction. Okay, so yeah, good for people that are getting into the hobby. Now, let's get these open, they're definitely quite a bit longer. Let's check them out. Okay, so we get all our hardware and some thicker springs by the looks of it in this packet, guys. So definitely gonna be checking those springs out. Okay guys, as you can see, they look quite nice. They got a nice travel. Sorry, go a bit closer with the camera so you guys can see. We're gonna open them up. We're gonna fit some oil to them, fill them up. I'm gonna be using the 19WT on it, guys. I might have to get a thicker oil and play around with it. See if we can get a bit more tension out of it, guys, because I am sick of that body roll like I already mentioned. So let's get them stripped. Let's get them filled up with oil and get those flex blades off. So. I'm going to start by just removing the little cup, take off our spring, grab the body, loosen the lid. Okay, here we are. Now, got a little bit of oil in there guys as you can see, but definitely needs filling up. So. Okay guys, now that I've got it full and I've got all the air out, I'm not going to do what they say because I don't like having preload to the shock, I like having it neutral, so I'm going to put the cap on like this. Any excess oil will come out of the little hole. Okay. Nice and tight. Give him a wipe. The spring is very soft, guys, so I'm gonna look at these springs that are in here. Okay. This is definitely harder than this spring. This one's very soft, guys. So let's stick this one on there. Stick our little cap back on. Oh. Okay. 
Okay, now. Okay guys, we've got one done. I'm gonna do the other one. I'm not gonna bother filming it as well. I'll be right back once I've done it. Okay guys, we're gonna get stuck in. Let's get this body off. First the wiring. Anyway, let's get stuck in. Let's get stuck into the back here. Let's get these off. Okay, let's start by taking off the wheel nut, guys. Before I forget guys, got to throw the ball joints in, so just going to grab one of each. As you guys know, there's two different ones, so let's just see, we got the straight one and we've got the curved little tip. Now we need some O-rings, like I've mentioned before, okay, so the one with the lip guys is the one that's going to go on top and you need to put an O-ring, okay, that goes to the back. Then you stick it through and repeat the process with another O-ring. You just take the second one and slide it on over and there you are. You've got your ball joint on. Now the bottom one guys, it's the one what's got no lip, it's just straight and that one just pops into the bottom guys. There you are. Okay, now it's ready to be tested so let's get it on there guys. So. I'm going to grab our screw, I'm going to put it through, spacer, and then same hole as before. Now let's just compare the droop so it's still more on the side with the flex blade with the shorter shock guys so i think this is going to be just the height i wanted so definitely happy about this before i move on to the other side guys let's throw the wheel back on Okay guys, I'm just adjusting the back preloader on the spring so we can try and get rid of the torque twist, especially with that heavy body with all the accessories on it. So I'm gonna put it quite down. Let's see how that fares now. Okay, that one's there, one's there. I'll give this one a little bit as well. Okay, the moment of truth guys. Let's see. Let's get this. Okay guys, it's looking pretty good right now. I push it right down, it does want to lift itself back up. Okay guys, it seems to be sitting a lot better than it did. Even if I give it gas, 
it doesn't just lean over that way so we're gonna take it out on the trail guys we're gonna give it a test if this doesn't work I am gonna try and throw another spring in here so we'll have double spring but we'll see let's first take it out let's take it for a little test guys it's got nice smooth low control no problem there so it's working really good I say we take it out we go and test it on the trail and we see how the body roll and torque twist is after fitting these shocks so let's hit the road guys let's go and get some footage and see what you guys think of it
Okay guys, as you could see from the footage, it did improve hugely. The body lean has reduced a lot, especially on flat surfaces and just normal crawling, it's done great. Now, on the last hill climb, I still noticed a lot of torque twist on the system. So, I'm going to try and fit some brass rims to it to increase the weight down low and see if that will actually change the overall performance of the vehicle. Maybe by putting more weight down low guys I do think it will keep that front wheel down as well because right now all I'm running is the metal stamped rims with some brass rings in the front guys so we're going to throw the brass rims on and see how it behaves after that if it still hasn't eliminated the torque twist well then then we're going to start going back and start to play around with the springs and shock positions to see what we can do to set it up the best we can considering it is a very heavy body guys and I'm just trying to keep it realistic I don't like that lean when you're always trying to climb things. But you know what guys, in real life it also happens a lot on real jeeps. So you know what, it is behaving very realistically at the moment and I do like the 59mm shocks from Injora guys. But I definitely wouldn't put them in the front as it would droop down too much again and start causing issues with the drive line and everything else. I think it looks more realistic like this and I like it set up like this. So I'm probably going to throw the other shocks on the Bronco guys, so that will be for the next video. Uh, we'll see how that one does then with the torque twist and the body lean. But for now, I'm going to run it a few times like this just to see how it behaves. I'll throw the rims on in the next video so we can see if it changes the performance on the hill climbs. Besides that, guys, all I can say is thanks for joining me on another video here, guys. And I'll see you all in the next one, man.